what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today i want to talk about day trading versus gambling on the markets um, a lot of people think that day trading is gambling and it absolutely can be um, but that's dependent on how you approach and how you handle the markets and there is absolutely a fine line between the two so this is honestly something that I personally struggled with and that something it's something that I had to like get a grip on. I had to become more disciplined and strategic with my approach. Um, I had to be thinking about my strategy and less about the money. So I'm going to go into just like some of the differences between the two today. So if you want to be consistently profitable in the market, if you want to you know, see yourself as a professional one day and uh, really be able to make money in the markets, you can't gamble on the markets. Like you might make money doing, you might make money that way, but can you actually keep it? Can you consistently have like a steady, steady rising equity curve? Um, as a day trader, that is possible but the, you have to have a strategic approach to the market and that's one of the biggest differences i would say between the two a day trader is going to be strategic with their approach they're going to take the time to look at the market and find a setup and they're going to be patient enough to allow the market to come to their levels to make their entries and they're you know they're going to know their and entry and exit strategy before they place a trade. Somebody who's gambling the markets is going to be much more impulsive with their approach. You know, they might do some um, analysis, technical analysis, but they're usually going to be led by their emotions instead of logic. Whereas a day trader, you're going to be focused more on the logic um, I can't say that you can totally take your emotions out of everything. It's really hard, although they advise you to do so as a trader. You know, we are human, so it's hard to just shut off your emotions. And, you know, um, but somebody who's gambling the markets is going to be leading with their emotions instead of logic. They're going to be impulsive with their entries. You know, they're going to have FOMO, fear of missing out. And um, that's really going to set, set you back. You might make money that way, but again, can you hold on to that money? Can you consistently be profitable in the market? Um, the answer is going to be no. As a trader, you really have to learn how to be patient. Um, I think they say that it's trading is like 80% waiting. 10% buying and 10% selling, right? So a lot of it is doing your analysis and waiting until the price makes it to your entry point. Um, and that is crucial for your success as a trader. It's really, you have to learn to be patient, you have to be disciplined, and you have to create rules that you follow. That's another thing that happens with like kind of having this more gambling, um, gambling approach to the markets is that we are focused on the money rather than being focused on the strategy which when you're focused on the strategy the money will come to you when you're focused on the money and you're chasing the money it will literally run from you um because what ends up happening is you don't know when to stop because you don't have structure and you don't have a set of rules that you can be disciplined enough to follow and you'll make money, you know, and then it it gets you like some sort of a high, right? It releases dopamine. It's sim similar to like literally when you take drugs is that, you know, it's this kind of thrill and excitement and it's like, oh, I can do it again. I can flip money. I can do it again. And you're chasing that. And that's when you lose, you know, what you just gained or even more because you didn't have specific parameters in place to um, control that, right? Trading is having proper risk management. So if you have your rule is, you know, I'm only going to 
it depends on the size of your account, right? But I'm only going to, my daily max loss is going to be 2%, 5%, $500, you know, whatever it is, you have to be disciplined enough in order to follow that. So um, if you are a day trader, I would absolutely, you know, create a system for yourself, rules that you can abide by and follow. And it's interesting because, you know, they say in books that trading can be kind of like a paradox because we are going after this freedom and not having to, you know, listen to anybody, but it's the discipline because you have to create that for yourself and you really have to follow that. Another important thing with trading is that being a professional trader, a day trader versus being a gambler is that you are going to have Again, this falls under risk management, but your risk is going to be predetermined before you make any trade. So there is no reason why you should be blowing an account, losing your entire account, risking all of your capital um, because you are using a stop loss and you are using proper risk management so you know what percentage you're risking before you enter a trade. I am telling you guys, I was the I was such a gambler on the market and I lost a lot of money doing it this way and I'm coming out here being vulnerable telling you guys about it because I know that there's other people out there that are going through the same thing for me with day trading it was from the beginning like once I saw that you could literally flip money on the internet that I was sold on it, right? I was like, I know that this is possible. If I can turn a hundred dollars into a thousand dollars, you know, X or you know, whatever amount exponentially, I was sold. I was like, this can work. I just have to learn how to make this work for me. And I did, um, you know, w waste time, waste money, waste energy, um, doing it the incorrect way. So if you are. A, you know, an experienced trader, if you're a new trader, set rules for yourself, learn a strategy and stick to it. Focus on the strategy and the money will come to you. If you focus on the money, it's going to run from you. And it's, you might think that, you know, your intention might be to like, um, shorten the process, rush the process, but it ends up taking you longer to get to where you want to go by doing it that way because it's just not the right way to handle the market. So if you really want to be, you know, have a career out of this, you have to take it seriously. And the benefits, you know, the money that you can make on the markets, it is incredible to see that you can just flip money and there, you know, what is it? St statistically, they say like only 10% of traders make it, 90% of traders fail. And that's because a lot of people can't be disciplined. They can't be in control of their emotions and, and, and they end up quitting. You know, they end up getting scared out of the market. They lose money. Um, but you have to show up every day. I would also say practice on a demo account. That's something I wish I would have done more of rather than, you know, just putting my own money in and losing it. But I don't regret any of it. Honestly, it brought me to where I am today. And I see it as just being like the cost of learning. Um, however, if I were to do it again, it's something, you know, I would advise myself to do. So if you want to be a day trader, you have to do it the right way. If you want to be a gambler and have, you know, that thrill seeking experience, I would say just go to the casino. Um, you know, they're going to give you free drinks while you gamble and it's going to be more of a social environment rather than just you being in your place alone, um, which can be a lonely um, experience as well. That's something that day traders go through. But that is some of my, some insight to my trading journey. So if you really want to be successful as a trader, I'm telling you it's possible, um, but you have to do it the right way and you're going to have to go through your own journey to get there. But I wish everybody luck in their trading careers.